she's widely acclaimed as Africa's queen of talk. But Moabudu doesn't just talk, she walks the talk. We'll bring you insightful, engaging and interesting conversations with leaders in business, politics, entertainment and government across the globe. Remember, if you can think it, you, you can, can do it! Mo's personality, attitude and life, in no small measure, lends credence to the fact that once she can think it, then you can be sure she will do it. In the year 2013, I birthed a new project, Ebony Life Television, Africa's first global black entertainment and lifestyle network. For me, when I think, I always think big, I think massive. It's even like, oh, this thing is too big. But I find that if you think big, you can never really achieve that bigness in its entirety at the point of thinking. But think it anyway, because a bit of big is better than a bit of small. Although she is not a politician, Moabudu strives to keep in touch with issues of politics. In a recent interview, you came up with this concept the four P's, I understand. Okay. Politics, policies, propaganda, and Politics, polity. Right. What role do you think propaganda plays? I, because should, be, I, I should be asking you. <laughs> you're, you're, you're the medium that is used for this. All I do. I mean, when I say you, yes, not you yes, as I mean, um, Mo. But yes, but we just, on our channel, what we <clears> decided to do is just ask questions. Yes. And I ask those questions, and I never really say yes or no. Right. I just let the let viewer, the public, let right. the public go and do their Inside. research and see right. if you've right. lied to me. Yeah. Or not. I mean, for no. example, when I interviewed Mr. President in, in Akure, you know, the other day, he had catalogued to me all the various things that his I administration had done. Yes. Had done. Yes. And he said, Mo, this has been clouded by, you know, the unsafety and insecurity in the country. Yes. And I couldn't say yes or no to all the things. Some of the things that had happened, I know, for example, sure. that the railway, sure. um, he got sure. the railways sure. working sure. again, sure. and some universities had been built. Sure. Sure. But I couldn't there and then clarify and confirm everything he'd said. But what was important was to at least provide a platform for him to share right. his achievements with yes, us. Yes. And for those that are listening and watching, to go out and say, Mr. President, did he really do this? Yes. Go and check. Yes, sure. No matter what challenges we've been having, the economy of the country has been rebased to be uh, half a trillion dollars. And uh, that is attracting more interest globally to Nigeria. How are you going to get our economy back on track? What are the things that you're going to do to stop us from, be, from being a, a monoproduct country whereby everybody seems to just be relying on the production of oil and gas? What other things will you do to ensure that we get the economy moving? I think we have to move rapidly to improve agriculture. agriculture. We have vast land, Arab land in, in the country. We have a lot of able, unemployed bodies that we can immediately... use unemployed. Exactly. And there are uh, solid minerals. There are solid minerals all over the country. Gold, lead, tin, columbite, name it. I'm in the private sector. I start up my own company, which I've done seven times, doing different things, um, from hospitality to consulting and now to television. When you have a vacancy to fill, you go and look for the best person to do the job. So it's not really a matter of who knows who or who did this or who did that. But it's about the fact that Nigeria is now at a critical stage whereby it's not a matter of what state are you from or who do you know. It is about can you do the job? You need to really go and look for the best people. It is on this backdrop that the team of EO Reports wishes its own superwoman a fantastic birthday. And for me, I always end by saying that I give him all the glory. Thank you so much.
Just before we continued our special report, I asked you a very simple trivia question. I asked you which was the second largest city square in the world. Now for our family in Ghana, I'm sure you guys already know that this is you. The Black Star Square in Accra, Ghana is the second largest in the world. It's got the Accra Sports Stadium on one side and the Kwame Nkrumah Memorial Park on the other side. Now I've seen this square, it's pretty impressive. I think I even have a picture. I'll put it up on my Instagram or on the Facebook page and then you can take a look at it. It's second only to the Tiananmen Square in China. Pretty impressive. So big ups to you guys in Ghana, yes? It's time for another quick break. Now when we get back, we have today's tech report.